Hi guys, and welcome to my little demonstration of a little program that will allow virtual DJ to be used by the blind and the visually impaired. As some of you may know, it doesn't work with screen readers such as NVDA or JAWS, so this is uh, a little way around it. As I am blind and have successfully been using this program for a while now, I thought I'd finally make a demonstration of it and make it available for anybody who wants to use it. For this video, I'm going to be using my home laptop rather than my gig laptop because I didn't really want to be installing screen recording software onto the gig machine. I'm sure those who have gig machines independently would appreciate that you don't really like to install unnecessary software on them. So I'm using my home laptop for this demo, which will be using Virtual DJ 8.3, the current version. Um, the gig machine does have 8.1, which is actually more accessible than 8.2 onwards. But as you'll see from this demonstration, 8.3 is pretty accessible anyway. As I am using my laptop, um, it means I don't have any of my normal controllers connected. I normally have an Akai APC40 connected, to assign all these accessible commands to, but I shall be showing it you from the perspective of a keyboard, laptop keyboard layout. So I'm going to start by launching the app that will interface to Virtual DJ to handle all the uh, speech. The VD speech system ready. So now I've launched the program. Its window basically just contains settings for the speech output for Virtual DJ. It does not require a screen reader as it is self-voicing, so it's entirely up to you if you use your screen reader or not with it. Uh, so I can just tab through some of the controls now to show you what they do. More mix VDJ speech 0.190710.1 alpha. Voice, combo box, Microsoft Hazel Desktop English, Great Britain, collapse. So that's the first item in the settings, which is the voice that Virtual DJ uses for its output. So I'll press tab again now. Output, combo box speaker slash headphone, real tech high definition audio, SST, collapsed. So this is the audio output for the speech, which Virtual DJ will use. You're better off setting this to the same as your headphone output for Virtual DJ, as you don't really want the speech to be heard on your main outputs, do you now? Uh, incidentally, the audio you will hear today from Virtual DJ is a feed from the headphone output. So let's press tab to get to the next setting. Rate, six slider 80. So this is the speech rate. 75, 80, 85, 90. As you can hear, pressing the left and right cursor keys will adjust that up or down. Okay, so next. Pitch, zero slider 50. This is the pitch of the voice, if you want to change the pitch of it. So let's press tab again. Volume, 100, slider 100. This is the volume level output of the speech, what you'll hear through your headphones. Okay, tab again. Start VDJ button. This is just a button to launch Virtual DJ from this program. You can use your normal desktop icon or whatever method you use to launch Virtual DJ if you want. So I'll just press space now to launch Virtual DJ. Pressed. Connected to Virtual DJ. Songs list contains two tracks. Video, Can't Stop the Feeling, X Mix, Justin Timberlake, Tempo 113.1, Length 4 minutes 44 seconds, Year 2016. Deck 1 selected, no tracks loaded. Virtual DJ. So Virtual DJ has now started and the program has connected to it as we heard with the phrase connected to Virtual DJ and it has told us the status of the browser window. In this case we are currently in the songs list panel which has two tracks and then it went on to announce details of the currently selected track. Then it went on to announce the, the selected deck was deck one and that it was empty. Now I think the speech rate might be a little too fast for some people who's listening to this so I think I'm going to slow it down slightly. Um, I can do this a couple of ways. I can either tab back to the program, Alt-Tab, or all of the 
settings are actually available to virtual DJ scripting commands. So I have assigned the speech rate commands currently to the plus and minus keys on the keyboard. So if I press the minus key, I can reduce the speech rate down slightly. Folder list, folder level three temp, contains two tracks. Right, I just moved across the folder list panel to see how fast it spoke. I think I'll slow it down a little. Speech rate decreased. Speech rate decreased. Songs list, contains two tracks. Video, video, cake by the ocean, X mix, DNC, tempo 119.0, length 4 minutes 32 seconds, year 2015. Right, I moved back to the songs list just to hear what the speech sounded like. Hopefully, it's a bit slower for you all now. Okay, so... I have this currently set up for a two deck system, even though you could have it quite easily set up for four or even six decks. We'll just go for the standard deck one on the left and deck two on the right for this demonstration. Okay, let's see what we have. I'm going to start with the browser window, as it's quite a bit to that. Now, normally, Virtual DJ has three panels folder list, songs list, and a side view. Uh, side view then has individual panels within it but for the purpose of accessibility navigation i'm going to make it seem like it's got five panels in this case which will be file list song list side list auto mix and karaoke and this can be just navigated by using the left and right cursor keys and then you can navigate the files or folders within those panels by using the up and down cursor keys now, as I'm currently in the songs list panel, I'm going to press the left cursor key to get to the folder list panel. Folder list, folder level three temp, contains two tracks. As you can hear, I'm now in the folder list panel, which is basically like the tree view panels you get on your Explorer or file managers, which contains your documents folders, your hard drives, along with some extra virtual DJ folders, such as virtual folders, filters, history, etc. So what you heard there is that I'm at level three of the subfolders. The folder currently highlighted was called temp and it contained two tracks. If there's no tracks in there, it won't announce the track numbers at all. Now I'm going to move up and down this tree view using the cursor keys and pressing enter to expand or collapse folders. I'm going to look for an external hard drive I plugged in, which is a backup of the gig machine. So let's go and find that. Folder level, folder level two music, folder level two media, back, folder level two data eternal, A, folder level two system backup, G. Folder level two data eternal, H. So there's the folder I'm looking for, or should I say drive in this case, which is currently not expanded. So I noticed the folder below it was also level two. So I'm going to press enter on that to expand it. And I'm going to cursor down and look for the filter folder, which I know is in there somewhere. So it'll be on level three. So let's go and do that. So now I've opened the folder. I'm going to scroll down a few just to show you. Folder level three audio. That's the audio folder. Again. Down a folder bit more. level three filter. There's a filter folder. folder level three I'll go down a few more. Folder level three videos. Then I'll go back up to the filter folders now. Folder level three karaoke. Folder level three filters. And now I'm going to expand that one by pressing enter. Now I'm in the uh, filters subfolder, and I'm going to whiz down this one quite quickly actually, because the one I'm looking for is quite a way down. It's a filter folder called This Year, which is basically any tracks that has the year tag set to 2019. But as I go down, I'm going to pause at a couple of them so you can hear the full announcement. And you'll hear it also announce the amount of tracks that's in that folder since these do have tracks in them. OK, so here we go. Folder, contain, folder, 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 folder level 41980S contains 14,276 tracks. Folder level 41990S contains 21,557 tracks. Folder level, folder level four this year, contains 2,152 tracks. Blimey, have we had that many tracks this year? Mind you, most of them are remixes, I think. So, as I was going down there, you'd heard me stopped at some of the decades filters I've got set up, like the 1980s and 1990s, which obviously announced the amount of tracks that's within them as well. 
and also if you notice all these folders are level 4 of the tree uh, so now I'm going to press the right cursor key to move back to the songs list which is basically a list of all the tracks that's from this year from that filter folder all 2000 odd of them and what you'll hear it will announce that I'm in the songs list panel and it'll announce again how many tracks are in that panel and then it will tell me the details of the currently selected track in that panel uh, in the form of the type which will be either audio video or karaoke then the track title followed by the artist then the tempo then the length and finally the year which in this case is 2019 as that's the filter folder that I'm currently browsing this can be customized any way you want it can just have the song title if you just want it but you can make it so it has the genre uh, play count album artist album any tags basically that's available to virtual dj you can customize here to have it whichever way you want it songs list contains 2152 tracks Audio, Live Forever, Stafford Brothers and Lexi Pantera and Lil Yachty, Tempo 100.0, Length 3 minutes 22 seconds, Year 2019. So now I'm just going to cursor down through some of these tracks, just to give you an idea of what it sounds like when you're whizzing down some of these tracks to find ones that you want. Audio, a Audio, Rewrite, Audio, Polaroid, Audio, Broken and, Audio, Look What You're, Audio, Bring Em, Audio, Anyway, Audio, Old Town Road, Audio, Jenny of Old C. Audio, nothing, modestep and modestep and virtual riot and virtual riot, tempo 150.0, length 4 minutes 19 seconds, year 2019. So there we are for browsing down the songs list panel. Now, as I said earlier about this being able to be customized however you want, for example, just having it announce the title, then you could define keyboard commands to speak other things as you want them. So you could browse down to a track and then press T to get its type, or G to get its genre, or however you want to do it. It's entirely up to you and totally customizable. So I'm going to press left again. And we're going to go to the side list panel. Side list panel, blame it on the booty, red rum, extended, Jackson's. Okay, I press the right curse key to get there, not the left. Even though the left can still get there as well, you just have to press it a few more times as it just loops around. So these three. Uh, lists, the side list, auto mix and karaoke lists are basically similar to the songs list. It lists the tracks and you can move them down them using the up and down cursor keys. The auto mix features are also fully accessible to use. I haven't used it personally myself. I just use it as a playlist manager. The karaoke one's also fully accessible for switching on the karaoke functions. But as this is an overview, I'm not going to go into too much detail into them at the moment. I should probably do that in a future tutorial. So now I'm going to just press right, move to the auto mix playlist list. Auto mix panel, video, watch me, whip nay nay, silence. So this is the auto mix list. And as you heard, the top track in there is a video. Okay, let's press right again to get to the karaoke list. Karaoke panel, someday we'll be together, Sunfly karaoke version, Diana Ross. And that's the karaoke list. I'm going to press right again, which will then take me back round to the folder list. And then I'll press right again, and it'll go to the songs list, which will basically just continuously loop around. Uh, pressing left does exactly the same, but going backwards. Folder list, folder level 4 this year, contains 2,152 tracks. Songs list, contains 2,152 tracks. Audio, nothing, modestep and modestep and virtual riot and virtual riot, tempo 150.0, length 4 minutes 19 seconds, year 2019. Sometimes, when browsing up and down the files list, I tend to use pre-listen, instead of listening to the speech of what is actually there. Uh, so I can actually turn the speech off, if I want to do that, by pressing shift and escape. That will basically mute all the speech output. This can also be handy if uh, another DJ wants to take over for a bit and they don't want to be listening to all this uh, speech rabbiting in their ear rolls. Speech muted. So the speech is now muted and I am currently moving the cursor around the screen and there's absolutely no speech output. So I just press shift escape again to turn it back on. Speech activated. So that's it for the browser for the time being. 
I'm now going to move on to other things. Now, as I said previously, I have this set up for two decks, deck one on the left, deck two on the right, and Virtual DJ's usual method to switch to the selected deck is by pressing the tab key. But now, when you press the tab key, it will automatically announce the status of the deck and what is currently loaded on it. Deck two selected, no tracks loaded. Deck one selected, no tracks loaded. As you can hear, both decks are currently empty. So I'm just going to load something onto them. Now the songs list panel in the browser will also display search results when you search for tracks and things. I should have currently assigned to the F key for find as the S key is used for all the things at the minute, that being the sort criteria for sorting the information in the panels. Like I said, this is an overview, so I'm not going to get too deeply into that. So I'll just press F and do a quick search for something and load it onto deck one. Enter information to search for. P. A. Audio. Summer days. Martin Garrick's foot. Macklemore and Patrick Stump. A. L. Audio. Picking up the pieces. Malmix remix. Palomar Faith. Tempo 130.5. Length 7 minutes 23 seconds. That's the track I'm looking for. So I'm going to press Control L to load it onto deck one. Uh, Alt L would load it onto deck two. Uh, you'll find that most left deck commands involve the control key and most right deck commands involve the alt key. So now I'm just going to press control L. Deck one selected, audio, Palomar Faith, picking up the pieces, Malmix remix. As you can hear, deck one now contains the Paloma Faith track. I'm just going to do a, another search to load something onto deck two. Enter information to search for F A V. Audio, say my name, A, te no title set. Audio, sweet but psycho, Ava Max, tempo 128.0, length 3 minutes 25 seconds, year 2017. So I did a search for Ava Max and pressed the cursor down key to get to the track that I was looking for. Now, instead of pressing Alt L to load this onto deck 2, I'm going to press A to add the track to the auto mix playlist and then I will go to the playlist and find the track in the playlist and load it from there instead, just to show you the adding to Automix feature. Track added to Automix playlist. As you heard, um, I pressed A and it added that to the Automix list. I'm just going to do another quick search for karaoke track. So I can press A again so that you can hear that it gets added to the karaoke list instead of the Automix list as it can identify the difference. Enter information to search for F, K, A, R, A, Karaoke, The Gambler, Dream Patcher Karaoke Version, Johnny Brady, Tempo 90, Karaoke, Karaoke, Kar Karaoke, Cop Song, Ka Karaoke, Act, Karaoke, Karaoke, Snuff That, Karaoke, We're Not Sorry, Stage Star, Karaoke, Mr. Cladwell, Stage Stars Karaoke Version, Cast of You're In A Town The Musical, Tempo 115.0, Length 3 minutes 11 seconds, Year 2991. So if I press A now, it will add this track to the karaoke list and also ask me for the singer's name. Karaoke panel, Mr. Cladwell, stage stars karaoke version, cast of your in a town the musical. Track added to karaoke list, enter singer's name. So now it's asked me for the singer's name. So I'm just going to type Fred here for the moment. F R E D. Songs list contains 44,153 tracks. Karaoke, Mr. Cladwell, stage stars karaoke version, cast of your in a town the musical, tempo 115.0, length 3 minutes 11 seconds, year 2991. So now that's added, uh, it's dropped me back into the search results. I'm going to clear that search result so that uh, it gives me back the songs list for the currently selected folder I'm using. So I'll just do that now. Audio, repeat after me, Nathan Dorr and Melissa Steele, foot Melissa Steele, tempo 125.0, length 2 minutes 53 seconds, year 2019. So that's the search results cleared, and the songs list folder now contains the tracks from this year again. So I'm now going to just press tab a couple of times just to uh, check what was on the uh, two decks. Deck 2 selected, no tracks loaded. Deck 1 selected, audio, Palomar Faith, picking up the pieces, Malmix remix. So deck 2 is empty. So I'm going to press the right cursor key and go across to the playlist and find a track to load onto deck two. Side list panel, automix panel, video, watch me, whip video. Just going to scroll down to the end of the list. Audio, so am I, Ava Max. Audio, I know you heard. 
audio, so am I, Ava Max. Okay, I'm going to put that on deck two. Deck two selected, audio, Ava Max, so am I. So now I'm going to talk about the function keys, F1 and F2. These have uh, special functions. So if I have a track loaded onto deck one, F1 can uh, retrieve the remaining time of the track while it is playing. And Shift F1 will tell me the current tempo of the deck while it's playing. And Control F1 will tell me the current details of the deck and what's loaded on it. And the same applies to F2 with deck two. If I press F1 now on its own, it'll tell me what the remaining time is on the current track. Remaining seven minutes, 22 seconds. And Shift F1. Left BPM 130.46. And I'll also press Control F1. Deck 1, selected, paused, audio, picking up the pieces, Malmix remix, Palomar Faith, length 7 minutes 23 seconds. And F2, I'll tell me the time remaining on deck 2. Remaining 3 minutes 3 seconds. And shift F2 will give me the current tempo of deck 2. Right BPM 130.46. And control F2 for the details. Deck 2 is not selected, paused, audio, so am I, Ava Max, length 3 minutes 4 seconds. So I'm now going to play deck 1, so I'll just press... Uh, Control P now to start that off. Um, so while that is playing, I'm going to hit the F1 key at various intervals. So you can hear it announcing the remaining time as it's decreasing. Remaining seven minutes, six seconds. Remaining 6 minutes 56 seconds. Remaining 6 minutes 50 seconds. Remaining 6 minutes 36 seconds. So as you can hear, it's uh, announcing the remaining time as I press F1. This can also be changed to elapsed time or the current play time if you want it it's entirely up to you now i'm going to press m for the b grid metronome well that's off a bit i can adjust it though as you can hear just moved it back one beat still didn't make much difference but uh, I shall go into that in more detail on a mixing tutorial using speech. So I'll press M again to switch that off. And I'll stop the track as well. Okay, so I'm just going to press F1 again to see what I have got remaining on that track on deck one. Remaining 5 minutes 29 seconds. So the next thing I want to talk about is the rest of the function keys. I've got commands assigned to them. These are mainly for switches. Uh, for example, uh, F5 will switch on the auto announce volume feature. So whenever the volumes are adjusted, it will automatically tell you what the values are. So I'll just press F5 now. Auto announce volumes enabled. And now if I move the right volume slider for the right deck, it'll announce them for me. Right volume 97, right volume 90, right volume 88, right volume 84, right, vo right volume 78. And I'll just do a quick nudge of the master volume. Master volume 66. Right, I'll press F5 again to switch that off. Auto announce volumes off. Now, you don't have to have the auto volume enabled to know your volume levels. You can get it at any time by just pressing the V key. So if I press V now for the master volume, it'll tell me the master volume level. Master volume 66. I'll adjust the master volume level a bit and then press V. Master volume 81. So it announces it whenever I press V now instead. And Alt V will give me the right volume level. Right volume 78. Okay, I'll adjust that up a bit and then press V again so you can hear that for yourself. Right volume 88. And Control V will give me the left deck volume. 
There is also separate keyboard commands for getting the levels for the gains and headphone volumes and input levels and microphone levels, etc. But I shall leave them for the moment and we'll come to them in a future video. So the next function key after F5 is F6. Auto announce crossfades enabled. And like the auto volume levels, this will automatically announce whenever the crossfades are moved. I'll just show you, for example. Audio cross audio crossfade 24% to left. Audio crossfade 32% to left. Video crossfade 32% to left. And I'll switch that back off now by pressing F6 again. Auto announce crossfades off. So now it's off. I can move the crossfade without it announcing. But I can press C. Audio crossfade 32% to right. Which will just tell me the crossfade position whenever I need to know it. So next is F7. Auto announce tempo enabled. So this will automatically announce tempo changes or pitch changes on any of the decks. It's quite handy if you're manually adjusting the tempo to match another deck and you don't want to be constantly pressing the shift F1 and F2 keys to find the tempos. So you can just adjust it and it'll automatically announce it to you as you're going. So I'll just switch that back off. Auto announce tempo off. So next F8. Warning notifications enabled. This will automatically announce any warnings I have defined. Um, the, the one I currently have set on it is to announce when I'm getting to the end of a track. So it will turn around and say deck one has less than one minute remaining. Warning notifications disabled. Okay, next F9. Threshold notifications enabled. So this is quite a specialist one really. You can set a particular level for your VU meters, such as minus one dB. And then whenever your peak level hits that level that you've defined, it'll emit a beep to let you know you've peaked into that level, the threshold. Useful to know if your VU levels are going over a certain level. I use it personally for defining input levels and the microphone. So I'll set a peak level of say minus one dB and then use the microphone and turn it up until I start hearing the beep and then I know that the microphone level is basically peaking at minus one dB. It's useful for that sort of thing really. Threshold notifications disabled. So next F10. C crate one bar. C crate two bars. And if I continue pressing that, it'll just loop around through all the different C crate levels I've defined. This is mainly a keyboard feature really. So it'll let me scan through tracks at different C crates for press the C crate keys I've defined. Not really of any use to those using a controller because you have jog wheels, etc. for that sort of thing. It's just for when I'm putting around on a keyboard without a controller about. So next, F11. Number row mode set to effects. Number row mode set to sampler. Number row mode set to loops and cues. So I press that key a couple of times to show you that it cycles through various functions that are assigned to the number row keys one to zero. The reason for this is because I've mapped several functions to the number keys. So if I press it once, it'll switch to the effects mode, so it'll let me trigger and get status of and change what's on all the effects slots. Press it again, it'll change to the sampler, so I can change the sampler bank, get its status, and also get the loaded samples on the slots and trigger the slots and various other functions for the sampler and then also for the loops and cue points uh, to get status and trigger them as well. So I'll start by pressing it once to take you through the first functions. Number row mode set to effects. Right, as you heard, it is now set to effects for the number row keys. So if I press the number keys one onwards, it'll announce the effect slots of the decks. There's also video transition effects and the visualization video output effect as well you can change or check or switch on and off. Right, so if I want to know what uh, effects I've got loaded on the effect slots, I'll hold the shift key down 
by going through the number keys from one onwards. Deck one slot one flanger. Deck one slot two echo. Deck one slot three way wah. Deck two slot one loop roll. Deck two slot two loop out. So that's how to retrieve the uh, effects that's loaded on the uh, slots for the decks. And I'm just going to change one of them. I'm going to change deck one slot two. So I've just pressed shift and two to remind me what was currently loaded onto that uh, deck's slot. Deck one slot two echo. Right, it's currently echo. I'm going to press control and two now to change that to loop out. So it'll cycle through the available effects until I get to the one that I want. Deck one slot two flanger. Deck one slot two filter LP. Deck one slot two filter HP. Deck one slot two filter. Deck one slot two noise. Deck one slot two loop out. You can use uh, shift control and the relevant number key to cycle backwards if you overshoot on your effect or you want to just loop around the other way if you know it's nearer to it. Okay, so I'm just going to check the slots one and two again on deck one and then I'm going to play the track on deck one again and just trigger them to effects to show it you. Now you just press the number key on its own to trigger the effects. Deck one slot one flanger. Deck one slot two loop out. So flanger and loop out. That will do for for this purpose. Okay, number one. And number one again to turn it off. Now just wait for a suitable point to do the loop out. Number two in a minute. So that's the audio effects and we've also got the video transition effects we can change as well the same thing for and also the visualization effects on the main output when there's no videos playing in fact i'll check that now by pressing shift and zero video effect televisuals so that's the effects so now i'm going to press f11 again to change the number row functions number row mode set to sampler so now the number of keys is set to sampler. So I'm just going to press shift and zero to see what sampler bank I've got. Current sampler bank, general audio, has one slot. Which is general audio, and apparently it's only got one sample slot used. Right, I can change that now, by, like before, using the control and the number key, or control zero in this case, to cycle through the sample banks. Sampler bank, general video. And again. Sampler bank, general. Right, I'll stick with general for a minute. Uh, I'm going to press shift and zero again to announce that same sample bank with the amount of slots. Current sampler bank, general, has three slots. So it's using three samples, which will be mapped to keys one, two, and three in this case. And if I need to find out what the samples are on there, I can press shift and the relevant number key. So I'll do shift and one. Sample one song requests. And shift and two. Sample two karaoke requests two. Shift and three. Sample three dance animation chickens. The least said about the dancing chickens uh, video animation, the better really. I would press uh, number three to trigger that sample. But as it's a video banner that goes across the bottom of a screen, and I'm not using the external video output on this at the moment, you wouldn't see it anyway. So I shall press F11 again now. Number row mode set to loops and cues. And we're back to loops and cues, which is actually the virtual DJ default setting, I think, for the number row keys. So I'm just going to play deck two, uh, Alt and P, and I'll trigger some of the loops in, in the track at random points. And I'll also shorten and extend them so you can hear them being announced because I'm pretty sure the auto loops is switched on. Do you ever feel like a misfit? Everything inside you is dark and twisted. Oh, but it's okay to be different. Cause baby, so am I. So am I, so am I, so am I. Can you hear the whispers all across the room? You feel her eyes all over you like cheap perfume. You're beautiful. Misunderstood. So why are you trying to be just like the neighborhood? 
Uh, oh, sorry, not on deck one, are we? Deck two selected, audio, Ava Max, go and like. Loop activated, on deck two, eight feet. Loop activated, loop activated, loop activated, loop activated, loop off. Loop activated, on deck two, two feet. Loop activated, on deck two, two feet. So that's the loops, so she can then be in and out. I'm going to switch on the beat grid metronome now, just to check this track. Well, that one lines up okay. Okay, so let's turn the metronome off now. Let's try some effects again. Okay, so I'm going to loop out now. Just check this again. Loop out, cool. Okay, that should loop out. Right, I hope this uh, demonstration video has uh, given you a good basic overview of what can be achieved with this program. There is lots more that I haven't shown you, such as creating virtual folders and managing them, and filter folders, and lots of other switches that some of the function keys I haven't even shown like the auto EQ announcement and loop announcements, etc. Just a, a quick note to those familiar with VDJ script, that's the scripting language that comes with Virtual DJ. Any uh, information that can be retrieved in, in VDJ script can have uh, voice feedback attached to it. So that gives you a fair idea of what else you can do with this uh, app. Anyway, I shall be releasing future tutorials for more in-depth features and of course the uh, software with all the instructions and how to set up and use it will be available soon. In the meantime, thank you for listening and watching for those that's watched and hope you enjoyed it. Cheers.